Hey guys, so I'm about to leave for Croatia on Tuesday. Today is Thursday and I have a one-way ticket with my boyfriend. We're just gonna see how long we can, you know, be nomads out there. I'm used to this. I've been doing it for five years. This is his first time kind of going into this territory of working and traveling and finding that balance at the same time. I wanted, I thought it would be fun to start to incorporate all my travels and stuff into my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of travel vlogs and I want to go over packing for a big trip like this. Um, unlike going for like for example we went to Vietnam for 15 days in February and that wasn't so like planning for a big trip you know so something like this you got to really be prepared I wanted to show you guys a review I'm going to review my base suitcase and then I just ordered this Monos carry-on suitcase and I also have all these other Bay's goodies and I'm going to show you guys my essential travel items that, you know, a lot of people spend a lot of money getting really cutesy things on Amazon and that stuff just adds up and it's like if you're trying to be a nomad and you're trying to travel on a budget, you don't want to be spending all this money before your trip. So I'm going to show you guys little tips and tricks of things you need that you don't really have to spend a lot of money on, like the things that you find online and that are like, you know, looking all cutesy. It just depends what you're looking for, but let's get to it, guys. First, we're going to go over the base suitcase. So I recently ordered this. It was some kind of sale that they were doing. They did a 20% off sale. Um, and I ordered this suitcase. I still haven't used it yet. This is the bigger, the bigger check-in roller. I believe this one is the 29 inch one. I don't know why it doesn't exactly say which one I got on here. Let's see here. See, I got this so long ago that I already forgot. Yeah, it's the, the biggest one they have. So, I believe it's 29 inches, but anyways, this is it. I got the black color. It's really nice. It has this little pulley thing to like attach your bag onto which is really nice because I don't know about you guys, but I always have like little bags and stuff that are, I'm trying to like load up on here and it's just a mess. Um, and it has this like pretty padded handle. I really like the length and I like that it has this like beige part on top. It rolls really easy. And then, let's move this out of the way. And then it also has, I believe, it has the lock on it and it has a way to be able to weigh it. I have to figure that part out. But you can weigh it as well, which is essential for me because I tend to always get things overweight and then I can't pay that over a weight fee so you gotta you know figure it out at the airport it's so stressful it also expands pretty big which is really nice so I'll kind of expand it all the way here but it expands about like four inches bigger which is pretty nice because especially I'm going for somewhere for three months. I mean, well, max you can be in Europe is three months, but um, I'm going somewhere for such a long time that just in case I buy some stuff, I want to be able to, you know, expand it if I need. All right, and then let's open it up here. So it has these 
straps. I'll show you guys. This is what the inside looks like. It has this little plastic um, side, this other side, and then this unzips right here. And this side has these little like buckles, and then it has this that compresses and this is removable as well. And it has a zipper pocket too, and it compresses onto the bag. It also has this little zipper pocket right here. It's pretty big. I feel like you can fit a lot in here. And then it comes in this little pocket here with a dirty laundry bag, which is nice, as well as another little bag. So that's really awesome. I actually didn't realize it came with these bags and I had a fold up little laundry thing in my Amazon cart and it was like $24, which like I said in the intro, when you're traveling on a budget, you wanna like really figure out where you're spending your money. You don't wanna be spending a ton of money before your trip. So I actually went to the dollar store, which I highly recommend you do for like things that you might have in your car on Amazon and want to get cheaper. And I actually got this pop-up hamper. So, I mean, me and my boyfriend are gonna be there for such a long time. We're renting our first place for an entire month. And so having something like this that we can both throw all our clothes in, our place comes with a washer and dryer. So. This is, this little bag that this comes with is great, but this is gonna be way easier to just have this pop-up hamper, and then it folds up into this little tiny thing. So go to your dollar, local dollar store, budget store, and you can find such amazing items that are on Amazon for like quadruple the amount of money. Who cares if you have a pink, cute laundry basket, like, no one is gonna see that except for you. So why, I mean, if you're all about that life, that's fine, but this is, we gotta, we gotta stay on a budget here, right? So yeah, this is the inside and then this zips up and it has so much space. Like, I really, really excited to use this. So yeah, this is the biggest suitcase. And then it has the lock, I think I told you guys, and you can also weigh it, weight limit indicator. So that's pretty awesome. And then I'm gonna show you guys, I have the Bay's backpack here. So this is the Bay's backpack and I use this all the time. It has a water holder. It has a place for your laptop. As you can see, my clip is attached to it. It has a buckle and then these two zipper pockets that are awesome to be able to really like pack like cords and little things here. And then, I don't know what that is. It has this front zipper pocket with little pockets inside as well. It's really nice, durable material. I've had this for so, for like months and I use it all the time. I use this for my, as my camera bag, as well as putting my laptop, my laptop. So this is basically my like camera, laptop, electronics bag. Um, and it has the two leather water things on the side. And then it has the little thing so that you can pop that on your luggage, which is amazing. So this is gonna be my check-in luggage with my little carry-on backpack here. And I wanted to show you guys that. And this is kind of nice and easy. You want life to be as easy as possible. I've had experiences where I'm like bringing, I've tried duffel bags, you guys. I have like, um, I forgot what brand it is, but I have a really great duffel bag. And I don't know, I just think duffel bags are so bulky and they're constantly falling off the bags and like, I just can't do a duffel bag, so I love, I love this kind of bag here. So yeah, that's um, 
This is um, this, and then let's move on to the smaller base stuff here. So I already showed you guys the little hamper thing, and then I'm gonna show you some other base stuff that I got. But I have the base like travel wallet, which I really love. You can like put your cards in here. It has a little pen holder. Um, you know, you can put your passport and everything in there too. And it goes around, you know, it has a wrist little thing you can hold on your wrist. I like when I like, let's say I go out at night or something and I just want to carry this little bag. It's perfect for that. And then yeah, or you could put it around. Um, so I really love this. It's really nice looking too. So I feel like it goes with like every outfit as well. So I have this by base and then I have the makeup case and then the smaller, I forgot what this one's called, but it's basically their little case that has like the two zipper sides. As you can see, I need to clean it because I use this all the time. When I go to my boyfriend's house, I throw everything in this bag. Like it has been worn to death. I probably should get another one, but it comes with this little mirror. Um, and then, yeah, you could put stuff in this front pocket and it's nice and clear so you can see everything. And then you could put stuff in this back pocket. And again, it's nice and clear so you can see everything. Again, it's really dirty, don't judge me. Okay, I need to clean it. So that's this little bag. I love this. If, if anything, I would say this is a must have. And then I have this cosmetic case. Now when it comes to these kind of cases, you can find these on Amazon, wherever. So you don't have to, I wouldn't say like you have to get this specific makeup case, but um, I'm just gonna show you guys it anyways. Again, it's pretty dirty because I use it all the time, but it, it's nice and big inside. And then it comes with this little pouch that you can put things in with your brushes. I don't really use this part because I feel like when I put my brushes in, they're just like, like all like crammed in there and it's just, and then it makes this all crammed. So um, I usually don't use this part and just kind of stuff everything in here. But yeah, it's a great makeup bag. Again, you can pretty much find these similar bags anywhere. So I wouldn't say that the Bayes one is like a must have. Um, but I got this one a while ago, so a lot of times those kind of things will like be on sale like Nordstrom and things like that. And then, again, there's so many little like organizer electronic bags on Amazon, but I just throw all my like your um, converter chargers and backup chargers in this like big, just a regular big bag here. And then, you know, same thing. I put, I have another little bag that I just put all my cords in and I just put the cords in like smaller little bags here. So again, you can spend the money. Um, I think I saw ones again on Amazon for like 20 something dollars, but let's say you're getting a makeup bag, a electric cord organizer, this and that, that's like easily a hundred dollars that's gonna be spent. So why not just, you know, use little bags that you have. And then I always, I don't know why my headlamp is here, but I always bring a little headlamp everywhere I travel. You never know if you're gonna do like a sunset, a sunrise hike or whatever you might need it for. Um, so it's good to have. But then I also got packing cubes. All packing cubes are the same. Again, you can get any packing cubes anywhere. Like I know there's so many brands that sell cutesy ones for more expensive, but all packing cubes are the same. I normally just go to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross or those stores and get whatever packing cubes they have. So these are all my packing cubes. You've probably heard so much about packing cubes and they are essential and change your packing game. So that are, that's these. And then I have this pillow. I know that they have something similar on Amazon, but it 
is I got this from Lululemon and because I'm a fitness instructor, I get a discount from Lululemon. But basically it's a pillow that folds out into a blanket. I'm not gonna fold it fully out because I don't wanna put it back in, but yeah, it folds out into a blanket so I always bring this everywhere and then you can use it to sleep on as a pillow as well. Um, I brought, I used this in Vietnam, like we would be in buses for hours and this was so essential for sleeping and being comfortable in buses, cars, whatever it is. So that's that stuff. And then let's move on to unpacking my Monos carry-on here. So it came in this box. I already opened the box, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys. I haven't fully taken out of the box yet. So it comes in this nice protective bag, which is really nice because I store all my luggage in like storage. I'm just gonna get this box out of the way here. So, nice little carry case. Now, I chose the regular carry-on. They just came out with a carry-on plus size which I was really tempted to get, but when I looked up the measurements of the Carry On Plus compared to this one, my experience anytime I've been in Europe or all these other countries is that their planes do not allow big carry-ons. And when I looked up the dimensions of their Carry On Plus compared to this one, the Carry On Plus was over 23 inches. Um, like the dimensions didn't fit like your um, the dimensions that are needed for planes in Europe, where this one does. So I stuck with the original smaller size. Um, so that's up to you. I do think if you get the bigger Carry On, you can only use that on U.S. Uh, flights but they, they'd probably make you check it in um, in flights in other countries, but that's like a gamble you wanna go for. When I was in Greece, like they made me check in my bag all the time, and so I just don't wanna go through that again, so I got the small, regular size. So I got this cute pink color, um, and this is it. It's nice and small it really this part really goes up and then it is you know nice comfortable and let's see what else it has a lock just like the base bag has the lock on it and let's see nice wheels that just roll all over the place the little mono symbol right here what else let's open it up so, opening it up here, this is it, and as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see actually, but it has like the two buckles just like the base bag did, and it has this compression that again is removable and you can really like compress everything in and this has a pocket on it too, as well as the pocket right here. So we got that. I would say the only, it does, you can see the, um, you can see the outline here of the handles, which I feel like could be kind of difficult trying to pack around that, but I mean, I guess they have to keep it small, you know? Um, and then this side has a pocket right here. And let's see what's inside. Another laundry, another like bags, small bags to put things in. And then I don't know what this is. Let's see. like 
with the bag that does not want to be opened. Oh, it comes with a cute luggage tag. So it comes with a cute luggage tag and then it comes with like a little thing on how to do the, the um, lock. So that's cute that it comes with this. Um, I'm just gonna throw everything back in here. So yeah, so all that stuff came in right in this bag. It's always nice to have more of these little bags. So it's nice that all these suitcases come with those. And then this opens up and you have more space right here. So yeah, this is the carry-on. Again, it isn't giant, it's not big. I mean, it looks, it feels so small to me because I'm used to having like bigger carry-ons and like duffels and stuff. But like I said, I wanna be safe when I'm in, over there and like pl flying other planes or like you know whatever it is like because we're going to be staying at a main house and then hopping over to islands and stuff so this will be perfect to just throw things in for a one night two night little getaway protective spins good and yeah this will be my luggage my base carry on um check-in sorry that will have pretty much everything and then my Bay's backpack and my carry-on will be with me. So this is everything I wanted to show you guys. Uh, and this is my first time opening this little carry-on. So I'll give you guys an update when I'm over there on how I like the luggage. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys, I got these Berkey. You've probably heard of Berkey, it's water filters, but basically, they have these on-the-go water bottles and they had a sale two for 50 which I think normally one is like way more than I, I forgot but it was a really good deal so they had a sale two for 50 so I jumped on it for me and my boyfriend and yeah it removes it filter, these are like amazing, amazing quality filters and basically I haven't opened this yet but it looks like this and then it has the filter inside. So why this is great is not only for like hiking and you know doing adventures where you don't know if you're gonna you don't want to you don't know if you're gonna have enough water but it, the amount of money spent traveling buying water also I don't like contributing to buying plastic and yeah it's just like buying jugs of water, buying water bottles. It adds up in cost. It's not great for the environment. So these are great because you can just put your sink tap water in and it filters through it and you don't have to worry about buying any water or spending that money or contributing to throwing away so much plastic. So this is something I recommend. I've never done this before. Um, but I'm super excited because I've been wanting to do this for so long and I just like never invested the money into it. And then when I saw this sale, I jumped on it. They do have like more expensive, like they have a travel filter that you actually like put on the counter and um, it's pretty small, but it was like $170 or something. And so I just got these, the two, two for 50. So yeah, these are by Berkey and that's everything. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to vlog and everything while I'm over there and just give you more travel tips. And yeah, I just, if you haven't checked out all my other videos, check them out and make sure to click that little bell to get notified when I post new videos as well. I'll see you guys next time.